Welcome back. Now, a new scheme to help tackle family violence has been announced this morning. From today, all of the Warehouse Group's 12,000 staff will be eligible for 10 days of paid leave a year to help sort out domestic violence problems. Joining me in a moment from Wellington is Women's Refuge spokesperson Ange Jury, but here with me right now is Mark Powell from the Warehouse Group. Mark, thanks for coming on to talk about this initiative. This is just incredible. So 10 days paid leave on top of all, you know, all leave entitlements that you already get. Tell us what's driven you to do this. Well, I think actually it's our, it's our charity partnership with the Women's Refuge. Uh, mm. We've worked with them for over two years now. We have Shiro program, we have our Elves on Shelves program every Christmas. And uh, out of that, in discussion between our community and environment general manager and Ange Dury, who you're speaking to later, mm. uh, came this idea. I think Ange said a company in Australia had been doing this, and Paul said, wow, perhaps we could do this. And we thought we looked at it, uh, we assessed the, the issue, and uh, said, yeah, we can do this. And uh, you know, we're 12,000 in our team, and we've got to be representative of the whole of New Zealand. And so this is a big issue in New Zealand, and we feel we can do our bit uh, for, in our company. Mm, well, you're certainly take, taking a leading role. And you told the team yesterday, the team of 12,000, quite an enormous squad you've got there. How did they take the news? Well, actually, I was quite overwhelmed. Our, our, our people officer, our chief people officer, said in a meeting, wow, I'm getting loads of emails directly back. Mm. And you don't usually get that, even when there's good news. Mm. Um, and so obviously it touched the nerve. Yeah. And on top of the, the paid leave entitlements, the 10 days that, that employers can, mm. can apply for, um, there's an unpaid leave as well for those if you'd like to actually support someone else or a victim yeah. or you're a perpetrator yourself. Yeah, I think obviously there's supporting others, uh, which is an important part, and we want to be flexible to help that uh, in the family situation. And then there's perpetrators. Often the perpetrators are, are probably full of shame and guilt on a lot of cases, and mm. they need help. Mm and they don't know how to ask. And so we recognise that as well. And again, this is from working with Women's Refuge. Uh, you know, it's almost given us deep insight into an issue that most of us, let's be honest, don't think about. We sort of think of it as somebody else's problem. And uh, from that, we said, well, we have counselling services already in the company. Mm. Uh, there's anger management, uh, self-control issues going on there. And we, it, it, you know, so we will encourage perpetrators to say, look, I need help, and uh, make that try and e make that easy for them to do that and give help. Mm. And just very quickly, a lot of people will be wondering how you monitor it um, in terms of so people don't really abuse the system, mm. abuse, the, abuse these extra ten days. Have you thought that through? Well, I think, uh, like anything in, in a large business, there is an element of trust, mm. uh, but not naivety. And I think you know, this type of issue, I'd be amazingly surprised if people abuse it. Uh, I don't think they will. Uh, and uh, you know, if there was a pattern that it came out, that would be sad. Mm. But it would be a minority, and you don't clamp down on everyone just for a minority. Mm. Yeah. All right, we'll leave it there. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for that, Mark. We'll bring in Ange, uh, who is in Wellington. Ange, thanks for joining us. You Thank must you. think this is just extraordinary. I'm in New Zealand first. Yeah, this is really an amazing move from the warehouse group. Have you ever seen anything like it? I mean, you, you obviously in discussions with the warehouse in the early stages of this. You must be pretty impressed. Well, we've been talking with them for a wee while about that, but it was more in the context of, well, Telstra did this in Australia. It would be fabulous if a New Zealand corporation followed their lead. And Paul and Mark picked up the idea, so yeah. it's amazing. What kind of difference do you think this will make personally to people and their families, of course, having the support of that workplace, knowing they have that option? I mean, one of the, the really good things about it is that people aren't going to have to sacrifice their annual leave when they have to actually attend appointments or go through legal issues. Having access to the counselling service, it's just fantastic. And they're not ignoring the perpetrators, so they're actually looking at a, a broader picture. You know, they're changing the language around how we think. Because I, I, a more holistic approach, isn't it? And I'm yeah. imagining, of course, that people are reluctant to take time off work because obviously you've got problems at home. A lot of the time you've, written, you've still got bills to pay, don't you? Yeah. You can't just take time off willy-nilly to go sort yourself yeah. out. I mean, what we see is women leaving their jobs. That's, that's the, the general um, result. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'm sure that you, uh, as well as many other companies, will be watching this and hoping it can be rolled out further. Ange, thanks for joining us from, from Thank Wellington. You. And Mark, appreciate, uh, appreciate you coming in as well. And congratulations to Warehouse on their strong stance. Thanks. Yeah, really quite brilliant. It'll be mm. interesting to see if it's taken up by others. Mm. Um, I think it also allows, does it not, for, for other members to, of, the, to, of the Warehouse team to take unpaid to support someone. Mm who may need that support if they're going through court or if they're going to a sensitive meeting of some sort, So, um, which you may have covered up. But I'm um, uh, really impressive. Anyway, now, do you uh, take all your food in big bowls to the table and serve it at the table?